Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the radius or diameter of a cone given its volume. Now in a previous video we saw how to find the volume of a cone and it was using this formula here. So we have a third pi r squared h where r was the radius of the circle at the base of the cone and h was the height of the cone. So that's the key formula we need to use. And the interesting thing here is that we're given the volume and we're trying to find out the radius rather than being given the radius and the height and trying to find the volume. But the principle is just the same. We just substitute what we know into this equation. So this time we know what the volume is. It's 160. So let's sub into there. We've got a third times by pi multiplied by r squared. So the r here is just r. We don't know what r is. And we do know the height, it's 10, so we're multiplying by 10. Now, we want to get r on its own. Now, r squared has been multiplied by the a third, the pi, and the 10. So we could just divide both sides of the equation by the third, the pi, and the 10 to get rid of them. So we're going to do that, 160 over the third, times the pi, times by the 10, and that's going to leave us with r squared. And then, to get r on its own, we can just square root both sides to get rid of that squared. So if we square root both sides, that's going to give us r is the square root of all of this, making sure the fraction is entirely under the square root. And if I put that into my calculator, so I'm going to do square root fraction button, 160 over a third times pi times by 10, and that gives you 3.91, and what's the unit? It's in centimetres. So that's the final answer for R, and that was to three significant figures. What about the next one? Now the interesting thing here is that the volume actually has a pi in it, and when the question does that, typically that pi will cancel in your equation. But let's do the same as we did before. The volume of the cone is a third pi r squared h, let's write out the formula and then substitute into it. So the volume we were given is 100 pi equals a third times the pi multiplied by the r squared. Now we don't know what the radius is, so let's just call it r. So r squared multiplied by the height, which is 12. Now notice this time that we've got a pi on both sides of the equation. So we could divide both sides of the equation by pi. Let's just cross it out to get rid of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tidy up a bit on the right-hand side. So a third times 12 is just 4, so we have 4 r squared. What do we do next? Well, r is being squared, then it's been multiplied by 4. So we need to undo the last thing we did by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. That becomes 25. And the 4 r squared divided by 4 becomes 1 lot of r squared. And then finally, you can see where this is going. If r squared is 25, to get rid of the squared, you square root both sides. So r is just 5. And we could say that's 5 units because there's no units here. Or we can just leave it as 5. That would be fine.